And for today's episode, we got a very special local country style brunch. We're actually heading out to Eva Beach, which is on the west side of the island. If you guys know what's good for you, this is amazing. Mm. Make sure you stay tuned because we have a dessert place that we're thinking of hitting up. Super duper hot today. We just came from the beach. Of course, we had to get some slushy, some smoothies. This is really refreshing. It's so hot outside. Good morning, Foodie Ohana. Welcome back to the channel. And for today's episode, we got a very special local country style brunch. We haven't even been there yet, mm -hmm. so it's pretty exciting. And when she heard there was going to be epic waffles, she just had to tag along. You know who it is. <laughs> She literally just overheard us talking about waffles, pancakes, or something, and then she, she's like, oh, yeah, what time are we going? So she's here. So for today's video, we're actually heading out to Eva Beach, which is on the west side of the island, nowhere near Honolulu. So we're taking quite a drive, and we're super excited to check out what Eva Beach has to offer. If you like these kind of videos where we take you along on our foodie adventures around the island, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. The subscribe button is right down below this video, so make sure you check that out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Definitely like this video if you like the neighborhood of Eva Beach. If you're not sure whether or not you're subscribed, look for the button, make sure there's a D after subscribe. That's how you know you're part of our foodie Ohana. And Yvonne is getting hangry back there, so <laughs> let's get us some grub. Let's go. And before we get into today's video, we want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Vessi. Thank you so much to Vessi for sponsoring today's video. And as you guys know, Hawaii, the weather is constantly changing. It's so unpredictable. And that is why we love to use Vessi shoes in all types of environments and climates. And Vessi has very comfortable and stylish shoes. So no matter what the terrain is, no matter what the occasion is, Vessi's got you covered, guys. In Hawaii, granted, we don't have snow, but we use Vessi in our filming videos. We even took it on hikes, we walked into puddles, I walked all over the monkey pods and it was all G. And that's because Vessi is made with Dymatex, which is a dual knit climate material, breathable, lightweight, easy to clean, 100% waterproof and snowproof. That thing repels water like nothing. You can just leave it on your porch, you don't have to worry about the weather because once it gets wet, it stays dry on the inside. So it keeps your sock nice and dry and your shoes nice and clean. And the kicker of it all is the shoes are vegan, guys. The shoes are processed in which no animal byproducts, less water usage, very eco-friendly. Yeah, guys, so if you're planning on visiting or locals here plan on going on hikes and you need that hiking boot that you don't have to worry about, oh, they have socks too, so perfect. And guys, make sure you use our link down in the description. It's going to be vessi.com slash Amanda Felix and our code A and F eats to get $25 off of your Vessi purchase. Dang, $25 off. I guess I'll get another pair. <laughs> so let's get into today's video. Let's go. Just the other day Oh, I guess that you were back in town It's been a long time since you've been around Remember when we used to make the streets unsafe together, baby We were young and foolish then Oh, how I wish we could go back again I've decided it's been too long, baby to touch Dang guys. Look Ooh. at this, y'all. I have to back in to get out. That's when you know you're carrying a lot of joy. Uh oh, <laughs> something something flipped. Uh -oh. Hot day today, guys. Alright, so we just found a nearby beach. This is Pu'u Loa Beach, I think. Wait. You guys know again later. Probably gonna set up on the beach and enjoy ourselves some brunch. Let's get going because we're starving, guys. Oh my goodness, look at the view of this. Uh, let me just show you guys real quick. Look how gorgeous this scenery looks right now. Oh my goodness.
What is that? Fireworks? <laughs> it's some kind of thing going on. Sorry guys, there's gonna be some background noise going on throughout the video, but it stops every now and then. But, so guys, we are in Eva. So we're on the west side of Oahu. We drove all the way out here to try a highly recommended brunch place. Actually, thank you so much to Paris for recommending today's food adventure. We're super excited to try it out. They're known for their huge pancakes, awesome waffles, and their Ono local plate lunches. So let's get grinding, y'all. Yeah, let's get to it because this was like two hours to set up here for you guys. But I mean, come on, y'all. He's exaggerating. Look how beautiful <laughs> the scenery is. So one of their specialties and well-known country favorite ordered item is their local moku. Oh, did oh, we even say where yeah. we're? Oh yeah, so <laughs> got way, way, way too ahead of ourselves here. So the place we went to visit today, a brunch spot, very local, very renowned on this side of the island. It's called Country Style Kitchen. They have two locations, one here in Eva Beach and one on Kauai. I believe the Kauai one is the original. Yeah, Kapa'a. So many good places from Kapa'a, interesting. Yeah. Hawaii, we're coming for you. One of their very known dishes is their steak and eggs, loco moco. I mean, come on, look at this beauty. I even wore the appropriate shirt for this. That's how excited I was <laughs> for this day to come. And guys, their brown gravy looks rich, yeah. rich. We'll see what the Vaughn thinks later, knowing how she feels about gravy. But anywho, eight Where's ounces. Oh. I don't even have a fork, this guy. <laughs> so for this place, we actually ordered it online. They don't accept phone orders. They only do either in-person order, dine-in, or takeout through their online platform. I think they use like Square or whatever, but- It's actually just their website. Yeah, their website. We'll leave a link as usual in the description below. You guys can check out their full menu. Daily specials as well. I know a lot of people recommended to us to get the country fried steak, but unfortunately it wasn't on the daily special today. So we got eight ounces of grilled steak, nicely seasoned, two local style eggs over a bed of rice and gravy all over, just the way we like it. Oh, you know what you don't even need a knife. It's already pre-cut. It's like poo-poo style, guys. Oh man, y'all. You like runny egg corn? This one's for you. Looks like they sauteed some mushrooms and sweet Maui onions on there. Oh man, we're so excited right now. Let me get this fatty burnt end of a piece here. I want to try the steak by itself. For me, I don't know why, but I'm like more interested in this gravy because the gravy just looks so bomb. That's why you get gravy on the steak, right? For me, like you guys know, I like mine to be cut up into smaller pieces, so. Dribble for you. Oh, look at that perfect bite. A little bit of egg, Cheers. rice, steak. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. They fry something in butter because I taste butter. Man. That's some mm. good steak. Oh my goodness. I don't even care about the steak. That's some good gravy. The steak, mm. impeccable. Like I said, it takes us time to set up and film all this, but could tell the steak would probably be really tender if we just got it or if we sat in and dined in and ordered it. But let me assemble my first perfect bite here. Oh, got a little bit of mushroom, some of that runny egg yolk over easy, rice, steak, gravy. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Man, this is good. Oh my goodness. That gravy though. I'm not even mad that the food is cold right now. Oh man, that gravy, it's so flavorful. You can tell they use mm -hmm. the drippings. Tastes like beef. It's a very mm. beefy gravy. Like this gravy will make a man out of you. The steak, I will say, is a little bit overcooked, but honestly, I've had way tougher steak. This is really tender for being a little bit overcooked, to be honest. Like I said, it took us a while to set up. The steak, you know, when you let steak rest, it cooks. So Can't of really course, it's going to be a little bit on the tougher side but it's not tough where I need a knife. Did you all see me use a knife yet? No, only Amanda did. I can easily chew this. It's really good, trust me guys. I know my meat. This is a, a hungry man dish right here. Mm. This was like a frozen TV dinner. I'd buy it. I'd eat it at least twice a week. And guys, all of the components for this dish, I swear, it's literally perfect. The gravy is so meaty, so flavorful. The rice is nicely cooked. It's not like soggy. It's not too raw. Some places they do have raw rice, which is kind of nasty. The hints of sweet onion that you get in, in certain bites and the savory umami mushrooms, so good. And the steak is also nicely seasoned, which you cannot forget to season your meat. Yeah, I don't know where you, you've you been eating before you met me with raw rice, but that ain't me. You guys know, some of you know. Comment I, down below if you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Next up, we got some egg benny. Not just any egg benny. We got their renowned crab egg benny. Nice, perfectly soft poached eggs, firecracker in the background, some crispy hash brown, 
and bacon. Looks like there's bacon on there. And I will say that these eggs Benedict are huge. They're not no oh. tiny thing. Because it is a crab cake, it got a little bit mushy, but it looks like there's bacon and avocado and English muffin and the crab cake. Oh, wow. I, Sorry, didn't I can't this. wait for you. I didn't know there's an avocado in there. Well, I mean, I don't think it's because it's crab cake. I think, like I said, it took us a while to mm. set up and, you know, Hollandaise was already on it. So it's going to like soak it up. You know what I mean? Sorry, guys. It doesn't look as appetizing. But <laughs> <laughs> it's just falling apart. Oh, gosh. I mean, you can have all the English muffin you want. Just leave me some of that. <laughs> I just got a, I just got a fork full of English muffin. Okay, I got a little mm. bit of everything. My thoughts. English muffin is still sturdy on the bottom there. Soggy though. A little bit soggy, but not their fault, our fault. Another thing, the avocado gives it a nice creamy texture, like a fattiness to it. The crab cakes are very, very flavorful. You can really taste that strong crab flavor. Unfortunately, it's not crispy or anything because like we said, it was kind of sitting for a while. That bacon gives it a lot of great meatiness to it that I guess the crab cake can't provide. So bacon, saltiness, the egg as usual, nice and creamy. Of course, gotta have the egg. And that hollandaise sauce, wow. Little bit lemony because they add lemon, really good. For me, the star here is the hash brown. It's still crispy, guys, amazing. Oddly enough, the bacon doesn't do it for me. It, it adds a extra smoky flavor to the dish that I, I feel like didn't really go well with me for the dish. The avocado, I agree, kind of adds an extra creamy note to it, to the already creamy hollandaise sauce. And the crab meat is fresh. The crab meat is awesome, guys. So if you guys like crab meat, this one's for you. But I was surprised about the bacon. I didn't know they had bacon on there. And for today's beverage of choice, I thought, you know what? A Coke Zero might be a little too heavy, so when we don't feel like drinking Coke Zero, we drink Spindrift. You guys ever had these? Amazing. It's like fresh sparkling water. That's what it tastes like. That hash brown really is It's still crispy, crispy yo. I like the hash brown. Oh, we forgot to talk about what came with the Loco Moco. Oh, man. If you guys dine in, it's complimentary, but they got grilled cornbread here. Oh, man. Does this look, did this look good on the menu? Looks like a perfect cube of deliciousness. Can you guys see that? Oh, man, guys. Does this look amazing? Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. The cornbread comes on the side. It's 75 cents extra to get it grilled. Get it grilled if you guys know what's good for you. This is amazing mm. grilled. It's not that sweet. Yeah, it was a good thing because I was asking Amanda, like, it comes with honey. I was like, oh, did you want honey in there? She's like, oh, maybe not. So, oh, man. You don't even need the honey. It has a nice sweet taste to it. Grilling it just gives it that extra texture of crunch on the outside. It's so good. You guys definitely got to get the grilled cornbread. Give it a try. I'll say <laughs> I'd come back just for that. The texture is really good. It's not too dense. Some cornbread can be really dense. This one is nice and fluffy and airy. It's very moist on the inside, not too dry. That crisp grilled edge, so good, guys. Oh my God, I'm getting attacked by flies. Got some bangers on this side, you know, bang of flies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Y'all ready for some sweetness in your life? We got one of their famous, renowned Belgian waffles here called the Crazy Monkey. Is it called the Crazy Monkey? It's called Salty Monkey, guys. Salty Monkey Belgian waffle. Oh, look at this. Fresh crushed mac nuts, fresh bananas. They're in-house made salted caramel on a nice homemade Belgian waffle. Is there a napkin? Somewhere? Right here. Oh, this is for Yvonne's drool. Oh, she's... She's drooling when she saw me open the waffle. You know Yvonne is a waffle gal. Waffles are her thing, so. The sad thing though is we ordered, well it comes with whipped cream and oh. they put it on the side and it sadly melted. Oh, oh it's no. It's too hot today, guys. Oh no. Okay, now we need a napkin for her tears. Oh, can you imagine eating this when it's hot and fresh? Nice, warm, crispy, and soft on the inside. All cheers. Right. Crazy monkey cheers. Mmm. That caramel, you can tell, is definitely in-house made. It does not mm. taste like the kind you find drizzled on your frappuccinos, on your sundaes. This is freshly made. It's nice and sweet, yet yeah, has like a little hint of salt. So it's nice and like that sweet, savory mix that Felix really likes. And honestly, to me, what it tastes like, it tastes kind of like a banana cream waffle. I don't know. like. Have you guys ever had that magnolia banana pudding? It kind of tastes like that, but in a waffle form. The one thing I will say I like about waffles is when the, the caramel sauce or syrup pulls into the little grooves of the waffle, 
giving you that nice bite. It's like a little dish holding your syrup in place, you know, so it doesn't fall everywhere. And oh, it's just a mouthful of flavor. It's so good. Just that slight hint of saltiness. It makes me feel like I'm gonna start adding a little a pinch of salt to my pancakes from now on. I will say that the mm. batter is a little bit dense for my liking. It's almost like a, a little bit. Salted caramel cake almost, like a bunt cake. Mm -hmm. All right, Vaughn here. Oh man, there's nuts over there. Oh my goodness, guys. Woo! This is a pizza box. Yep, so we got their famous Neapolitan pizza. <laughs> Just kidding. This is their country pancake special, and guys, do yourselves a favor, get it flavored. So all their toppings are separate. You can either order it OG or like us. We got strawberries and chocolate chips. It normally comes with in-house syrup, but you can also opt for their in-house coconut syrup, which is what we got. Why not? Coconut syrup, huge pancake on the beach. If you know, you know. Coconut syrup. That's the key, oh, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. This alone can be the thumbnail. You guys ever been to Eva Beach, West Side? The manhole covers are made out of these. They just plopped it right on there. Country pancake, manhole covers. Dang, guys, you can literally eat this like a pizza. Look at this. Sweet and savory. Oh my goodness. Put some butter on there. Oh, the chocolate chips. I forgot about those. It's like nicely melted in there. Nice and gooey. This pancake, like he said, is their country style pancake. We did customize it to have strawberries and chocolate chips because we love chocolate chip. We did special request the coconut syrup. And if you guys are from Hawaii, born and raised, you guys know, gotta go with the coconut syrup. There's an array of toppings, guys. You can customize your own. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm, so fluffy. This is like a cake. It's not mm. a pancake anymore. Oh man. This is a legit cake. I could just put this on the ground and sleep on it and use it as a pillow. That's how pillowy it is. The coconut syrup is very light though, guys. I might have to just douse the whole thing in coconut. Which I really appreciate, by the way. You can tell it's in-house once again. That's I know it's, I keep saying in-house, but you can really tell from here, guys. If you ever like bought the store-bought kind, like you're craving pancakes at home, you bought coconut syrup, you can really taste the like artificialness, I guess, and how like overly sweet it is. This one is really light. Like it just pairs perfectly with these fluffy pancakes. It's very fluffy. You guys, this is more than enough to share. If you're eating with a family, you only need one of these. The edge is the best part, nice and crisp. The mix of the chocolate and the coconut syrup is to die for. If you don't like coconut, just don't ask for it. It'll come with regular syrup. Going back to the toppings, they have like macadamia nut toppings, chocolate, banana, berries. You can even make it a savory pancake or waffle. I saw like bacon and cheddar waffle, bacon and cheddar pancakes. Like possibilities are endless. While we're enjoying this awesome brunch on the beach, I just wanted to bring up a topic of discussion for the day. We recently been noticing there's a lot of articles on social media, online, all over local news that local companies and businesses are getting a little overwhelmed you know with the influx of visitors which is really good for the economy but i think it's just the sheer volume amount in such a short time caught a lot of these local businesses off guard and you know we just wanted to mention like if you're visiting here you know be a little patient i know not all of you are like that we're not singling anyone out we're just saying there have been some rude visitors leave bad yelp reviews for local businesses just because like they had to wait extra long or they didn't have the dish they wanted that day i mean guys you have to realize these are pretty small local businesses majority of the time especially the ones that we film and we want to share these businesses with you guys but we at the same time don't want any negativity or backlash coming from it because these businesses are getting overwhelmed it's hard you know and you suddenly over the, the span of a weekend you have like 20,000 people coming through your doors you know and you don't anticipate that so just stay positive guys come here with an open mind spread the aloha spirit and i do want to also bring up that here in hawaii you guys may not be aware of how it is to live here or have a business here because if you're not from here it's hard to kind of know about it but we are a very small island here in the middle of the pacific for us to get essential things can sometimes takes weeks sometimes it can take a really long time for us to just get essential items so when companies or businesses run out of things it's not it's honestly not their fault and another thing is we we're the only state left on some kind of covid restrictions so a lot of the businesses also are restricted to capacities so like for example some restaurants honestly a lot of the restaurants are not open to 100 percent but 
the influx of visitors are actually over 100% wanting to come to the, the specific establishment. So just remember, we're technically not fully open, even though we are fully open because of the restrictions. So just keep in mind that, that businesses' hands are tied in some areas. So enjoy your trip. If you can't get something you wanted, there's always next time. Or well, there's so, always another spot. Yeah. Just check out our channel, like and subscribe, guys. It's a lot of local food places on here. So <laughs> if one is packed or they're out of things, hit up the next one. They're all amazing. They're all good. Just be patient, guys. Be respectful of the Aina, the land, of the people here in community. I mean, just like anywhere else, you know? And I know some locals are guilty of that too. I mean, you know, they visit your state. You wouldn't want them disrespecting your culture or... Yeah, don't touch the monk seals or oh, the turtles, yeah. okay? Do not. And I don't care how close they are. You stay away, period. Not singling anyone out, just saying not everyone's disrespectful. I know a lot of you guys are very nice out there, respectful to the community. You know, I think we just all need to work together and increase the peace. I'm trying to spread aloha, spread positivity. You guys, negativity is not worth it. We don't need any of that. Sorry guys, it was just a little topic discussion. We didn't mean to get too much into it. But guys, make sure you stay tuned because we have a dessert place that we're thinking of hitting up. Really? We got a manhole cover we gotta finish. Uh, this we can eat later, right? We ate, okay, honestly, we did pretty good. We ate okay. half of it. Time to get the Vaughn's reaction. Yvonne's a director now. Good. <laughs> so, out of the dishes, I guess I'll just go in order of what we ate. So the first one we ate was the loco moco. Loco moco, surprisingly, I was it was really good. Yeah, the steak was a little bit more on the tougher side, but like what we said, we came here kind of late. Probably cooked a bit in the car uh, based on how long it took us to get here. But actually, the food was, uh, the loco moco, super good. Gravy, surprisingly, was really good. I think I'm slowly starting to appreciate loco mocos now, but I think it's also because they probably in house made the gravy too i think i got scarred from like all local mocos with like really salty gravy but this gravy is actually pretty light it's a very good complement to the steak so i think for a steak local moco for this um from country cafe really good the eggs benedict i think the taste of the eggs benedict was really good but i have to say um having so much different flavors for it kind of made it a confusing dish i think um if you, if you were to order eggs benedict from here trying to get one that's more like just a classic just the egg and the benedict and the and with the english muffin i think then it would be uh, a lot better um just as a classic but adding the avocado adding the bacon to it i think they wanted to make it a very creative piece um but yeah i feel like what felix was talking about it earlier just having um it felt like a lot of clashing of different flavors um crab meat though was fresh um so if you like crab meat benedict maybe ask for that without the bacon but that's my you know recommendation just because the clashiness of the salt and the crab cake waffle and pancake waffle i'm a waffle gal i'm gonna say it i ate all of the waffle I gave, I mean, I, sh I, I left a little piece for them, but <laughs> I, I love the waffle, okay? She gave us a sliver. <laughs> they said it was too dense, but like, okay, I can tell if we ate that fresh, I would have devoured it, okay? It was so good. Okay, if you are a waffle person, get the salty uh salty monkey waffle it was so good the caramel was perfect with the macadamia nut. i'm just thinking about it right now it's so good okay so get the waffle if you're a waffle person pancake is huge okay so if you are a pancake person get the pancake i wasn't a big fan of the pancake because it was more on, it was it just tasted very fluffy like like a like a cake like a i don't know like a pound cake i guess i would say so very fluffy i wish there was more chocolate chips honestly on it that was my thing because i i do like my pancakes sometimes but i think i just like the waffle more because like you know it was it was more it was more crisp right and i like having that little crunch to my bites pancake um was just more so on the softer side so if you like pancake go for pancake but uh that waffle i'm just gonna keep thinking about that as we drive back home overall country style kitchen um, if you're heading on this side to Eva Beach, um, please come here, come to Country Style Cafe, get their food, super delicious. And that's the Vaughn's take on Brekkie today.
What a beautiful, amazing day, guys. Man is uh, getting her feet wet over there. Ah, oh, I really wish we brought swimwear today just to jump in the water. I didn't realize how beautiful this beach was gonna be. But man, look at that. You can even see the south shore from here, where we're from. Can you guys see that? Right over there. You can see Diamond Head from here in Honolulu. Also remember, y'all, when you come to the beach, be smart, put sunscreen on, because it is hot and you will get burnt. Malama da Aina. And, and also Malama da Aina, we're cleaning up as I speak, throwing away all the trash. Make sure you leave with what you came with. If there's no trash can, make sure you bring it with you. And dispose of it properly in a trash can. We're gonna just hang out a little bit, connect attack here, and we'll see y'all at the next spot. All right guys, it's super duper hot today. We just came from the beach. Of course we had to get some slushies, some smoothies. Are you excited? It's too hot. <laughs> I need rejuvenation. I accidentally stole Yvonne's drink, but I got a strawberry lemonade with Li Hing Mui walls. If you guys don't know, Li Hing Mui, salted plum, very good, very local. I'm ready to eat and You're feel it. You're gonna eat your drink? I mean, ready to drink. Guys, oh, it's yeah. freaking hot and muggy out. My cheeks are rosy and very, very sweaty. It's so bad that we're like, yeah, we're not gonna do this outside. We gotta go back in the car, mm. blast the AC. I'm gonna oh. try yours. Oh, yours is so good. I know. I originally wanted the calamansi, but he got it first. So today we went to Boba Cafe in Eva. So good, guys, and super cool. The girls there actually asked us about our TikTok. So if you guys don't follow us on TikTok, make sure you check it out. I'll have it linked over there down in the description as always. So make sure you check it out because we got some awesome content. Sometimes the places we don't film, we actually upload on TikTok. So check it out. Very last minute, we forgot to mention, when you do takeout orders at Country Style Kitchen, there is a service charge, okay? So just keep that in mind when ordering, just so you're not shocked on the bill. Like, whoa, what is this like $10 or $5 came from? It's freaking hot in here. What'd you get, Yvonne? What'd you get, Devon? Yvonne, um, Bunny? Amanda stole my drink. So <laughs> what I did was, if you look on their slush menu, they say that there's not that, it doesn't look like there's many flavors, but that's actually because that slush menu is of uh, real fruits. So when I asked them if they had other flavors, they said that they do actually have other flavors. Um, so if you look on their tea section, you'll see there's a bunch of different flavors. They can make all of those flavors from the tea section also into slushes, but they're not going to be real fruit. So if you want like real fruit slush, then you know you have to go from the limit, the more limited. Menu. So I ended up getting a mango slush, which is on their tea section, and I, honestly, it's pretty good. I really like it, and I got mine with lychee jelly. Always go mango slush, lychee jelly. That's my favorite combo right now that I always go with, and it's super refreshing. So I love. It. All right, now let me give you all the real story of what happened. So we arrived at Boba Cafe right after we were lounging on the beach, got a little burnt on them, y'all can tell. Then we came here and then we didn't know what to get. It's our first time. No, it's not. We've been here before. I keep okay, telling you that. Okay, we've been here before, but we haven't been back in a long time. So we didn't know what was on the menu. We did our research, scoping them out on Yelp and whatnot. And yeah, and I guess while I was looking, Amanda mentioned something. <laughs> while Amanda was looking, Yvonne mentioned what drink she wanted. And it was funny. I was the only one that wasn't set on anything. So as soon as I got in there, I looked it at the It was the first order, by the way. Yeah, I just saw something and I was like, oh, uh, let me get the calamansi one. Then Amanda was like, what the heck? I wanted that. So then Amanda ordered the, the Li Hing Mui one. Strawberry lemonade. Uh, Amanda ordered the strawberry lemonade one. Yvonne's like, wait, I wanted that. <laughs> so ending up, Yvonne had to deviate. Deviate, improv, you know, kind of deal. And yeah, it doesn't look like she regrets it. Yeah, she's enjoying herself. So and then it works out, guys. Oh, this is really refreshing. It's so hot outside. It is over 90 degrees. 
And let's just say the wind is blowing hot air. It's not cold air. It literally feels like an open air sauna. I will say though, it is humid, not dry air. Chill a little bit here, guys. Hide in the car a little bit while I sip on my refreshing calamansi. So my drink is the real strawberry lemonade, like how Yvonne was mentioning it, breaking down the menu for y'all. This actually does taste like real strawberry. I can really taste the strawberry seeds. I can even see it in here. They are very known for like their really lavish toppings. Like they have like macaroon topping, ube ice cream topping. You can do all kinds of different things, but I really wanted to try the s'mores one or the ube one, but I really needed something refreshing to cool me off, so that's why I ended up getting this and stole it from Yvonne. Yeah, Remember? it's kind of hard to eat or drink heavy stuff when it's so hot. You know, earlier it was not too bad at the beach. It was like pretty windy. I don't know if we have a clip of the umbrella flying away or flying. At one point it did, guys. I don't know if you guys saw our short, YouTube short, where Amanda was crazily eating the watermelon. Yeah, it's one of those days. I'm putting it out there, guys. <laughs> YouTube chose that thumbnail, okay? I did not choose it. It made me look like a psychotic, crazy person, but I promise to God, I am not. I guess my crazy, my funny side came out. Y'all don't know, I'm actually pretty goofy, pretty funny. The thumbnail made her look like a competitive watermelon <laughs> champion. Like, you wouldn't want to mess with that if that's who you're up against in a watermelon eating contest. Crazy eyes, that's what they call her. <laughs> my name... <laughs> But I need oh, fuck. What was that? Sorry, it was the condensation from this. You had to like flick that. it at my face? That wasn't refreshing at all. Still going. Okay. Crazy watermelon is attacking me, so well guys, that about wraps it up for today's food adventure vlog. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us. We had a really great day taking along to Eva. We really got to see what Eva is all about and we definitely want to be back. So if you guys have any more recommendations or any places you want us to try, please leave it in the comment section. We're always looking for new places. We add it to our very, very, very long list of to-do places. So just leave it down in the comments. We definitely take a look and try it out if we can. And if this is your first time seeing our channel, this is like the first vlog you've seen, please consider subscribing to the channel. We do a lot of local eats. Hopefully soon we'll be doing neighbor island eats and all over, you know, we hope to travel all over. We want to really take you guys along on our lives, our foodie adventures, our travel adventures, our life adventures. We want to share everything with you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay updated, to come along with us on all of our adventures. And yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along. That wraps it up. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Stay tuned, we've got a lot coming up. Home videos, travel videos, everything. Food related and home and Hawaiian local. All right, take it easy, y'all. Bye guys, have Peace a great day. Coke Zero might a little bit. Yeah. It has a nice sweet texture to it. Texture? Whoa, snap. Ow. Damn, it went from calm to windy.